morning, everyone. Ryan Macy here, your director of instruction at Bradenton Country Club. We're on the beautiful number 12 hole here at our Donald Ross Design, and we're going to talk this morning a little bit on how to fix that slice. I know everybody has it. It's one of the most common things we see as teachers. Uh, when we're giving instruction and, and, and spreading the game, we see a lot of slices. It's, it's not often that we see somebody that hooks the ball a lot, so we're gonna discuss how to get rid of that slice. So, as you can see, I have my line here. And on this line is the line I'm gonna set my body to, and this is going to explain a lot of what causes the slice and how it happens. And then I'll give you a quick idea on how to fix it and how we can get out of that. So, if you look here at setup, we're set into a nice square position to our line. Normally what causes that slice is the club coming across the ball like this. And causing a brush of the golf ball which causes the spin to take off to the right like that. Well, I feel like a main cause of that is as we get to the top of our swing this way, we'll dip our head down and the head will collapse and get a little closer to the ball. And now that club's gonna come across instead of under and out. So this is kind of how you think about fixing it. We set to the ball and we know that the mistake is across the head like this. The head will lean forward, we'll come across it, or we'll just spin the hips out too fast and end up on our right side like this and causing that ball to also take off to the right like that when we hit it. Well, what we do here in this simple little drill is we don't even have to really strike the ball. And again, once you do the drill and then you hit a ball, remember you're trying to feel what you're doing to correct things. So instead of getting that club up here and dropping our head down and coming across this way or spinning our lower body out too much and being this way, we're gonna try to feel a sense of hitting the back and up at the ball instead of so much down at the ball, okay? So we set up. We get up to the top of our swing, we bring the club down, we set it on the ground right here, and work on that position right there. That right there is gonna help you feel the club go this way and not this way. So when we do that, we're up to the top. We're up to the top of our swing. We bring the club back down as it would be coming into the ball. We don't wanna spin out of it this way. We don't want to come across this way. We want to get set, up, down, feel the hands go from low to high as the head stays behind the ball. Okay? So when we get set to try this, you can get a feeling of coming under the ball a little bit more and less over the top of the ball so much, which causes that brush across or the spin out of our hips that way and cause that slice. So the more we can get up here, feel the club there, move it through with the weight transfer through our knees, not spinning, through our knees, and up through the ball that way. Okay? So we get set, we know the drill, we set to the top, bring the club down to where it's parallel to your swing line, put it on the ground, hands low to high. So this drill is what we call a low to high drill. We don't want to see the hands go from high to low. That's the cause of a lot of the problems. The hands come across, they go low, the head leans in front. We spin out of it, we hit this big banana. So let's try to do this. Remember our drill? We're set into that position. We're going to feel like our hands are going to go low to high. Head's going to stay behind the ball just a little bit. And just like that, you can get a sense of being underneath that ball a little bit more and not so much on top and across it to cause that big slice. Work this drill, do it with your irons, do it with your driver. It's easier with your driver on a tee like that so you can feel the hands go from low to high. And that'll help you to cure that big across the ball and that big banana slice that not only loses yardage, but it hits the ground and goes further right. So let's do this, let's work on it, let's see if we can hit better drives that way. Thanks a lot.